Okay, so my name is Mackin Scali, student number 15146545, and I'm just going to talk to you now about uh, my research. So the issue or theme that I kind of looked at was developing skills for lifelong learning, and the opportunities represented by the new junior cycle reform, uh, teachers' ability to utilize technologies in teaching techniques, uh, statements of learning, and how they interact with technology education and developing a student holistically. So these are all kind of things that um, I thought about when I was on my placement, and uh, things that I kind of wanted to research and, and see how us specifically as technology teachers can help to improve education holistically for students and give them better opportunities based around the new junior cycle uh, 26 statements of learning and key skills. So my research question, uh, how can a teacher in a technology subject utilize teaching techniques specific to technology education to develop autonomous and self-regulated learners? So what do we do in technology education specific to us that other subjects don't really do and that we can use to develop our students holistically and, and further give them better opportunities. So my literature review, and uh, this is just the outline that we done for Donald Canty a couple of weeks ago. And um, so basically I start off by kind of what is autonomy and uh, work my way through then linking uh, how autonomy is kind of explained through uh, the new junior cycle reform, explain the aim of the new junior cycle and give examples of how um, students might get the opportunity to learn holistically and um, specific to technology education then. So I've actually looked at um, exploratory study based on design projects uh, designed and created by students in ninth to 12th grade in Ohio um, and I think that that's a very good paper and it'll give it a real example of how technology education and um, pr problem based tasks and portfolios help develop students. So explain the old course and why the, uh, and how teachers might not have been utilizing methods such as um, the flipped classroom similar to Khan Academy and then explain the purpose of my key learning uh, from this and how it might affect schools in the future. So research methods. So I am an interpretivist. I plan to use surveys for students, focus groups, semi-structured interviews with technology departments. I will also use theoretic, uh, I will use a theoretical sampling method which means I'm going to just keep sampling until I hit a saturation point so I haven't learned, I won't be able to learn any more from then and then to make this um, as efficient or as a trustworthy and credible as possible. I, I can, might use prolonged engagement, a triangulation, a negative case analysis, and, and, and the likes. So implication for practice. So the ability to develop autonomy in students will benefit the greater society for the future. And um, so links directly to 26 statements of learning. Uh, teachers should take responsibility and utilize their skills to develop regula regulation. So pretty much, if we can develop autonomy and self-regulation in learners in the future, it'll help them solve problems that we don't even know exist yet. Um, so that's just been my quick overview of my research and thanks very much.